welcome to another Retz Pro video. This video is going to cover the listing field zones, and uh, which are basically the listing uh, zone sections on your listing detail page. So like exterior features, interior features, remarks, etc. Those are what we call the zones. And let's just jump right in. We're going to click on a property. And uh, when, the, when you first get to your listing details template for the very, very first time, you're not going to have all of this information in here yet. It's going to be just sitting here as a empty with uh, just a tag in there. It'll be a bracket, a tag, you know, and I'm fixing to show you those tags in just a second. But in order to convert those tags into actual data that, like you see here, we have to first create the zones. And the zones that are already in the template that you'll see in your template, let me just open up the template here, drag it back over here. Okay, so as you can see in this template, we have a tag here called headline, another tag called interior, exterior, financial, and there's schools and whatever else that, that are in that uh, template. And that's where these things, interior, financial, exterior, all that stuff, that's where all that stuff is going to be shown is actually via this little tag right here. That little tag, financial, is going to show every single thing or you know interior is going to show every single field that's under the interior that needs to be displayed and so that's the, the the tag the zone that we're referring to now how do you get in there and get that set up well what you do is you go up here to listings manager go down to listing field zones right here click on that that's going to open up there will be nothing in here when you first do this and this will be full of data there will be nothing over here this is the way this is basically the way it looks with none of these other things down here yet okay so the way I get started every time is I just go up and would start off with dragging that down and then doing a comma and as you can see I've done this many times and these are the total uh, tags that I usually start with I do headline remarks, interior, exterior, school, financial, and not used. Now once I've done that, I hit save. Okay. Once you hit save, all of these will automatically be created. And if you want to rename it or add more, you just go back up here, do another comma, type in, like I'm going to go ahead and do this for this video, and I'm going to add another zone by saying new after that comma. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to show you. There it is. It just gets added just like that. Okay. Now, I don't, and if you want to take it back out, you just come back here, make sure you take out the comma as well, hit save again, and I have removed it from here. Okay, so that's a little bit about that. Now, this yellow explanation right here, this little yellow uh, help box, is explaining to you that you need to take the zone tag with the brackets like you see right here and you need to add those to your template if you want to change out a different you know zone to to match up or add zones or whatever okay so that's really all that needs to be said about all that stuff so we're going to collapse these and I'm going to go ahead and give this this example here when you very first very first time you log in this is basically this this is all this junk that you're going to see uh, that was all you know over here in this left hand column like this so when you first get in you're gonna see all this junk and it's gonna go all the way down the page if you map 300 listing fields there are gonna be 300 values down this this column here and so what I do is I that's why I create the not use zone and I just start dragging that trash over there as fast as I can to get it out of the way because these are just this is what I call my trash bin and um, this is all nothing but the, the stuff that's not going to be displayed on the front of your website, but it's in the way over here in this column. So you don't need to delete it. You just need to hide it so it makes, it, it makes your work area much cleaner. All right, so what I've, I've done is I've got headline. And as you can see here, everything is in here exactly in the, in the order that I want it to be in. Well, 
I'm going to give you an example how you do that without messing that one up. Well, I guess I can go ahead and mess it up because I'm not going to save it. So I'm going to go ahead and sort A to Z. Now that's the way we get to do these is A to Z. Let me get this centered up here. Is A to Z. We don't get to go Z to A. It's only A to Z. But once you've sorted everything alphabetically in this column, now you can drag the things where you want them to be. So if I want MLS and then I'm going to want price next. And so you get to see how that you can build the actual structure, the, the, uh, the you know, the, the way that this lays out. And if you just, if you lay this all out and you save it and then you go, oh man, I don't like that in there. Well, it's really easy. You can also say, for example, uh, let's just say here, I don't want to display the property subtype. I could go over here. I could leave it over here. It doesn't matter. If you leave stuff over here, it doesn't really matter. It's just not going to be displayed. These tags have to be in the listing details template for any of this to actually show up in the listing details page. All right. So anyway, so I'm all done. I've already got all this stuff. You know, remarks is just the remarks. Interior is only interior information financial basically anything to do with HOA lease terms you know I do it I actually on my most of my uh, projects I do financial or missile and miscellaneous or something like that or other and uh, that way anything that just doesn't fit into interior exterior or headline or remarks can go into this uh, so that's a little bit of, of a, a little bit of a description for you on how all that works Make sure that that tag is in your listing details template. You just hit save. Make sure you use this save. A lot of people make the mistake of hitting this. This is the only time that this save is used is for this right here. Once you've got that, you're just going to go ahead and close that up so you don't get you know confused about the save button. Um, anyway, so that's really it. Once you've done all that and you hit the save here, as soon as you hit the save, you're going to come over here and you're going to see all of your information has parsed. If you come over here and go, oh, you know, I don't like that being in here. Well, you just go back over under the uh, appropriate tag and you get rid of it. It's just that easy. Um, anyway, so I think that should cover it. Uh, if you have any other questions, you know, uh, check in on the forums. We have uh, how to's in the forums as well and lots of free support there. And uh, we'll see you online.